Hello there. Welcome to the Ghana Careers and Opportunities Fair 2013, taking place today at Riverbank Park Plaza. have an exciting opportunity to talk to the industry leaders. I believe this is the first ever Ghana Fair career fair to be held here in London and I would like to take this opportunity to allow the organizers for this great initiative. Having to come to the UK is one way of creating that opportunity for all of you to be employed back at home. I lived, studied, and worked in the United Kingdom, and I'm ever so grateful for the, that opportunity. There are people here, here today who probably are even better equipped than I was when I left this country. It was passion that drove me to go back to Ghana. We have a full program pack for you this afternoon. By the time we finish this event, you'd have known what you need to do to invest in Ghana or start a career in Ghana. We are looking at attracting a host of talent in various uh, fields, especially in the ICT sector. One of the things that RLG have endowed itself to do over the years is to create jobs for young people in Africa. Now, we are not forgetting about the people also living in the diaspora and thinking that how do we attract that kind of discipline that they'll be able to do whilst living here, that they've created a certain culture of results and creating that opportunity for them back at home. One of the things we want to do is to be able to create an African brand. And create an African brand, we need a lot of talent who have developed themselves in the ICT space. Those who have developed themselves in software development, those who have developed themselves in hardware development, also in even human relations. We want all kinds of uh, 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 talent, marketing, so that we would carry this brand to the world. Because you want some kind of sophisticated type of um, talent that would enable and propel growth within the African context. And that's what we're trying to do. Fantastic. That's, that's really great news. And, uh, and do you think that this is the right kind of uh, platform, the Ghana Careers Fair in London is the right kind of platform that you would encourage other companies to come to, to uh, seek similar talents to drive their uh, brands forward? Definitely looking at the enthusiasm and the number of people who have come through shows a lot of hope. Now, before the career fair, over 200 people have already subscribed to this event, which shows that people are yearning to go back home. But the right type of job is where they are lost. Now, we are trying to match that right type of job with the right kind of people living here. And this is one of the best forums that we think that we can attract the best you know, type of skills that we need uh, today. Hey, I'm Michael Le Manning from Invest in Africa. I came to the Careers Fair today. Um, I thought it was a very good event. I thought that um, 
it's good to see young Ghanaians very excited about going back to Ghana, making a difference. Um, we've got a really well-educated diaspora, and it's time to go back and make a difference. You know, there's a lot of challenges that need to be faced. We can only do it by doing this together, both private sector and government. So it was a very good event. What did you think? Oh, good, good, good. Yeah, I mean, I definitely thought um, it was very uh, uh, inspirational for us a lot as, uh, as Africans actually want to come back. You know, we're kind of we're kind of like knocking on the door right now, really, just waiting for it to open. And um, what people were saying, the uh, the speakers, they really gave a lot of inspiration to me and my friends also. And uh, it's really just a catalyst now uh, for hopefully to make me go back as well as others go back and uh, do something for ourselves and for our country. I believe with this kind of programs, it gives us the hope that we can come back home and be part of the system part of the um, you know the growing economy in Ghana so that we can all make Ghana a better place. There are a lot of Ghanaians here your excellency a lot of Ghanaians that are very keen with the idea of moving back to Ghana to contribute to the Ghanaian economy. What is the government doing to really help those here in the diaspora to make that transition back? No, I'm, I'm, I'm really delighted at the numbers that have come here. I wasn't expecting such a large number, but it's great. It tells you how much interest people have in going back to Ghana. Uh, government has directed us that we should take seriously the talents in the diaspora. We are working with the International Office for Migration. Uh, we also, the university's office here, my own office, we've been liaising with the various Ghanaian employers associations, uh, AGI, the uh, Private Enterprise Foundation, uh, GIPC, to get individuals who have completed their, their education, have acquired some skills and knowledge, they want to go home. The High Commission is always prepared to facilitate it. The event was great. I loved it. I enjoyed it. Made lots of people, made lots of new friends, um, networked. Um, I'll definitely be the, the, one, the next one in Ghana, Accra, which I believe is next year sometime. Thank you. This has been an amazing fair because what it's done is that it's brought together a two of the biggest brands in Ghana and a huge constituency of Ghanaians and other Africans in the diaspora who are, who are looking to launch their career or restart their career and contribute their best uh, to Ghana. So I, I found this as an amazing, an amazing forum really. The business and investments and careers opportunities forum that we just came out of really highlighted the uh, the, the trends within the key sectors and the projected human resource demands over the next decade. And so it has equipped the uh, participants at this fair with the requisite information as to exactly which direction uh, they should be channeling their studies and really uh, they got to understand whether or not their particular skills and talents are what is needed uh, as Ghana moves forward. So this really has been very useful and the expectation is that in 2014 when this event holds in Accra, many more companies will join and even more, many more candidates would also uh, participate on this platform. So this has been really a useful experience. Thank you. Well, we have finally come to the end of today's session, Ghana Careers and Opportunities Fair. I want to say a very big thank you to our sponsors, ROG, UT Bank, Ghana Home Loans, and thatnewjob.com. It has been an absolute pleasure working with you. I want to thank the Ghana High Commission for supporting us, Guber Awards, and all the partners that make this, this careers fair a success. We're looking forward to next year. Please visit our website, www.ghanacareersfair.co.uk. Sign up to our newsletters and send us your comments and feedback. We'll see you next year at Ghana Careers Fair 2014. Have a wonderful evening. <laughs>